Hi there, I would like to welcome you to this edifying series where I will provide guidance on the career cycle from schooling to finding a job most suitable for you. I will endeavor to address the various stages of this cycle as well as your questions. So feel free to ask away in the comment section below or drop us an email at higherededucation.dsm at gmail.com I'd like to begin with a quote from a very famous book called Alice's Adventures in Wonderland where Alice asks a pertinent question Where should I go? To which the Cheshire Cat responds Well that depends on where you want to end up and this is what is at the crux of the career planning process because it goes without saying that where you want to end up depends much upon where you actually want to go. So a question that is commonly asked is when should I start planning for my career? Is it ever too early or too late? The ideal time to begin planning for your career according to me is when you have to select between subjects. So in some curriculums, it is at around age 15 when you make a decision between the science stream and the commerce stream. Whereas in other cases, it is at around 17, just as you are about to enter the final two years of high school or a levels. The importance of selecting careers at an early age has been reiterated by Canada's Youth in Transition Survey, amongst other studies, which acknowledges that those who are able to select their careers at the ages of 15 and 17 had better stability in their jobs years later than those who had not, and the same group would switch careers on an average of every four years. You will be taking several decisions over your career cycle and each must be well informed. Hence, if one step is done right, it lays a solid foundation for when you move forward and helps in taking further decisions. So, the main purpose of this video, how can you make a well informed decision? Here are two tips to take away. The first one is know yourself. How does one get to know themselves and their interests? And the answer to this is quite simple. Undertake a career assessment. In the era of technology, there are millions of career tests out there. However, it is important to ensure that you use a career test that is well researched, validated, and backed with solid foundation. Most schools offer them but the one that I would recommend is a strong interest inventory. This test is based on considering the interests of an individual to determine career paths. Because as the general philosophy goes, one's personal interests are good predictors of career choices. And tip number two, visit a career counselor or a labor market expert for further guidance. A counselor is someone who can advise and direct you. They're able to help structure your interests and make an action plan. Most schools have in-house counselors who can aid you with this. But if you do not have access to one, the higher education provides free services to community members. Please contact us on the email address mentioned on the screen. If you're not able to access, for any reason, a career counselor, you could also try and meet a labor market expert or a human resources professional. These are individuals who have knowledge and expertise on how the labor market looks like today and in the coming years, specifically jobs that are trending or outdated. So I hope these first two tips are able to guide you in the first stage of the career planning process. Tune in for the next stage of the career cycle where we would be looking at developing an action plan and how to narrow down options. Thank you for listening and for further updates, 
check out our Facebook page at Students is Hub.